Okay. I believe we're live. So once again, a warm welcome to the circle. Let's begin with a cleanse. We welcome all entities and energies in love and light. We speak these words to you from our inner God, our inner goddess, our inner beingness. You are healed. You are forgiven. You are lifted and enlightened, filled and surrounded with love. We ask that you are escorted to your perfect place of peace. Rukat kucha makuta chmeya. It is said that we will be moved to the perfect place when the time comes. And that is exactly how it felt. Within just two weeks, I was moved to Kenya. Yes, just two weeks notice. And so here I am, engulfed by a, a completely different environment, as though I'd been dropped off on a different planet. My bamboo cottage is open, and so I am immersed in, in the senses all day and night. I hear the, the sounds of coconuts falling, crickets chirping, bees buzzing, monkeys squeaking, bamboo creaking. Mm. Yes, chicken squawking, cows mooing, and the wind rustling through the, through the leaves, the great palm trees. I, I smell the fragrance of the red earth, of jasmine and flowers I don't know. I smell the, the tang of the sea, the salt in the air. And I feel the sun, even in the shade. I feel the breeze of the ocean combing through my hair sometimes. And I see the big butterflies and monkeys chasing the chickens in the garden. And I see palm trees and bats and sunsets. But the biggest change is the bright and vivid inner vision, um, be it in dreams or be it when seeing with the inner eye. So why am I here? Why am I in Kenya? I'm still coming to terms with what this means spiritually. Certainly it balances out the grid of our global CE5 community. We are here just south of the equator and it is good to see the Southern sky with the Southern cross again. Yes, last time I saw that was last year, February in New Zealand. And we were out on the beach last night looking at the stars and a thought popped into my head. I am ready to take a trip through the universe. I am ready physically to go explore. Africa. I do carry teachings from, from this continent and many of these teachings are about the influence of spirit. The, the possession or repossession of the body and the soul. We are living in extraordinary times, and that means that extraordinary things can happen. And I think we all feel it, changes upon us. And now, with our aware consciousness, we can choose to be and to do the extraordinary. Most of us are already on track, on a track that takes us to another brighter and lighter part of the cosmic matrix. And as C fibers, we probably all know what it is like to be different from the ordinary, different from the crowd, what it is like to know things and have experienced things for which others call us crazy. Yes, I wanted change to happen. I wanted peace to spread on earth. I wanted everyone to come along. 
I don't see this happening. I see myself preparing to leave, to leave and to leave behind, just like I left Europe two weeks ago. Some people in the CE5 community have no hope for the continuation of humanity. And one of the indigenous teachings I carry says, many will die, many more will barely have a life. Few will have a living. But what does it mean to have a living? Here I am in Kenya and life is as vibrant as ever. I was, I was remembering a book, Mutant Message Down Under, where a tribe of people indigenous to Australia decides to leave this plane and move to a different plane. And this is a fabulous choice that I see some of us making now. With an uncontaminated aware consciousness and with coherence within our tribe, we have that chance to move, not just to Kenya, but to a different plane. And today, again, we are bringing in, in coherence, each one of us emanating a field of peace around ourselves and together around the globe. In my understanding, just like the body disintegrates, now is a time where the soul too can disintegrate. And this is not bad, it just is. And it will take eons to form a new soul from the remnants of the old soul. Again, this is not bad, it just is. It is the way e evolution happens in this part of the matrix. And the awakened conscious soul will stay intact and move to another dimensional part of the cosmic matrix, an area, an area that is in resonance with our emanation. What I have done up to now was just practice, practicing letting go of things, of places, and the hardest one is letting go of people, dear friends, very close family, practicing leaving and leaving behind, practicing resonance, practicing being in a state of meditation, a state of peace, a state of bliss. There is a story about people sent from Germany on a secret one-way mission to another world in the South. The first mission failed because at the last minute, people were sucked in to stay with their families and the familiar and the ordinary. Orders were then given for the next mission to choose people that had no family holding them back. Yes, we live in extraordinary times. I'm glad to know that in the C5 community, there are many extraordinary people made for these extraordinary times. Thank you all for being here. Namaste. I carry it with me from the touch of 10,000 words. Somewhere there is a place where I belong, where an orchestra plays my favorite song. Butterflies gather and birds fly high, a beautiful place in the sunlit sky. I wake and I wander the land of the free, where souls dance happy and the shores meet the sea. Mermaids chat and whisper the day, and gods of hope are not far away. The place where I belong sits right in my hand. It lies in ocean blue and drifts of hot sand. I carry it with me for my eyes to see 
that the place I belong sits within me. Namaste. Apanitra Panitrova, Saravak Sanga Tokiva, Yasmare Kundari Kaksham, Sabaya Biantara Sushi, Avahanam Narayanam Padma Babam Vashishtam, Shakti in Chatat Putra Parasharamcha, Yasam Shukam Gora Paramahantam, Govin the Yogin Dramatasha Shisham. Shri Shankaracharya Matasya Padma Padam Chahasta Malakam Chashisham Tantrotikam Vartika Karamanyan Asma Guru Santan Tamana Tusmi Shruti Shruti Purananam Aliyam Karu Aliyam Namami Bhagavad Padam Shankaram Loka Shankaram Shankaram Shankaracharya Keshavam Sada Rayanam Sutra Bhashya Kurto Bande, Baba Ganto Puna Puna, Yadvari Nikilani Limpa Parishat, Sidhim Virate Nisham, Shri Mashava Sitam Jaga Guru Padam, Natvat Matripti Ingata, Loka Gion Piyot Patanduram, Shri Shankaram Sharamadam, Brahmananda Saraswati Guru Param, Yani Jyotiya Mayam. Avahanam Samapami Shri Guru Charam Kamale Bio Nama Asanam Samapami Shri Guru Charam Kamale Bio Nama Snanam Samapami Shri Guru Charam Kamale Bio Nama Vastram Samapami Shri Guru Charam Kamale Bio Nama Chandanam Samarapami Shri Guru Charam Kamale Bio Nama Akshkatan Samarapami Shri Guru Charam Kamale Bio Nama Pushpam Samarapami Shri Guru Charam Kamale Bio Nama Dupam Samarapami Shri Guru Charam Kamale Bio Nama Deepam Samarpami Shri Guru Charan Kamale Bio Nama Akshmaniyam Samarpami Shri Guru Charan Kamale Bio Nama Naivichyam Samarpami Shri Guru Charan Kamale Bio Nama Akshmaniyam Samarpami Shri Guru Charan Kamale Bio Nama Tambulam Samarpami Shri Guru Charam Kamale Bio Nama Shri Palam Samarpami Shri Guru Charam Kamale Bio Nama Aratikyam Karpura Karam, Karuna Vataram, Samsara Saram, Pujahendra Haram, Sadava Santam, Ridayara Vinde, Bavam Bavani, Sahitam Namami, Aratikyam Samarpam Shri Guru Charan Kamalai Bio Nama, Akshmaniyam Samarpam Shri Guru Charan Kamalai Bio Nama, Pushpanjalin Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Tasmashi Gurave Nama, Akanda Mandala Karam, Yaptam Yeno Chara Charam, Tatpadam Darshitam Yeno, Tasmashi Gurave Nama, Shri Brahmananda Padam Sukadam, Kevalam Giyam Murtim, Vishvatitan Kagan Sadrishan, Tatvamata Shilaksham, Ekam Mitalam Vimala Machalam, 
Saravadi Sakshi Bhutam, Bhavatitam Triguna Sahitam, Sadhguruntam Namami, Agiyan Timran Dasya, Giyamanjan Shalakaya, Chakshura Namritom Yeno, Tasmashi Guravei Nama. Push Panjalim Samapamishri Guru Charan Kamalai Piyo Nama. Let us all sit in a silent meditation together.
We will now be guided through three steps of meditation, beginning with a grounding, then a connection, and on to expansion and CTS. Namaste. Bringing your awareness into your heart. And just feeling into your own heart. And thinking in your mind of something in your life where you felt the most unconditional love. And whenever you thought that of that person or that pet or that thing, I want you to hold on to that feeling and breathe that feeling in, taking in a deep, deep breath of that pure, unconditional love and feeling it entering into your body, filling your heart space and expanding your heart and breathing out and letting go. Taking another deep breath of that beautiful, unconditional love, seeing it as a pink mist, entering your body, filling your heart space, really expanding your heart and then breathing out and letting go. And now being bringing your awareness fully into your heart now, we're just going to bring that beautiful pink mist that is already within you, that beautiful unconditional love and the energy of that, we're just going to draw it down our bodies now, coming down into your tummy, into your solar plexus, and down your body, filling every cell of you as it moves down your body, coming into your sacral chakra, which is just below your belly button, and then coming down into the base of your spine, just feeling that in your body as we move down. Coming down both legs now, down your thighs and into your knees, down your shins and calves and into your ankles and filling your feet and feeling that beautiful unconditional love permeating through every cell of your body now. And now out of the bottom of your feet, coming down into your earth star chakra, which is about 15 centimeters below your feet. And then down from your earth star chakra, down through a central funnel that goes down right down into the center of the earth, connecting into the blue cosmea, the earth's consciousness into the earth's heart and that beautiful love that our mother has for us. Really feeling your energy blending with our mother now. And feeling that expansion out through the earth, connecting into all the mother crystals that are in the earth and the beautiful energy that they hold of healing and activation, connecting into the Earth's chakra system and the ley lines, the Earth's energy system, really feeling it as your energy blends fully. Connecting also into the new 5D crystalline grids that are within the Earth, around the Earth, and within each living thing on the Earth connecting deeply to this beautiful higher dimension frequency where the earth is in pure harmony and peace and everyone lives upon her also in this beautiful harmonic energy. And now we connect into the beautiful ancient beings, the guardians of the land, the trees, they are the guardians of nature, connecting deeply within these beautiful beings. They have seeded and grown and seeded and grown over hundreds of years and have witnessed so much. They are filled with wisdom. 
and now going beyond that and connecting to all the kingdoms of the earth, the animals, plants, fungi, insect. And finally, last but certainly not least, connecting into all the interdimensional and transdimensional beings that live within and on the earth. And allowing your energy to blend in to their dimensions so that we can create communication and channels that are easier for us and them to communicate by. For we have no fear of connecting with these beautiful beings. We come with pure love. So really feeling your energy fully anchored into the earth and the earth's energy also traveling through those channels and into that central pillar and up into your feet and fully flooding up into your body now so that you are fully blended with the beautiful mother earth, our protector, our home, our love and really feeling that connection as your energy is now fully anchored into our beautiful mother. Just feeling it. Namaste. For this uh, connection meditation, I would like to use Dr. Greer's mindfulness meditation with a mantra, I'm Nama. This is an ancient meditation technique for mindfulness meditation. For those of you that are not familiar, the mantra consists of three syllables. The first syllable is a perfect fifth higher in tonality than the other two. The first syllable is I am or I'm. The second syllable is N-A or Na. And the third syllable is M-A-H or Ma. It goes like this. I'm Na Ma. I'm Na Ma. We always just think this mantra without speaking it. We think it gently and allowing it to be a focus without straining or force. So the mind becomes centered, quiet, and calm. The mantra creates a triangular form out of the tonality. A triangle is the first shape that encloses space for manifestation. And a triangle in three dimensions becomes a tetrahedron. If you replicate the tetrahedron and merge the bases towards the center, you end up with a Merkaba, an eight-pointed star. It's a very sacred symbol representing light, spirit, and body. At the completion of the mindfulness meditation, sit in silence and repeat this mantra over and over for a few moments. Just follow it in your thought. Normally this is done for about five to 10 minutes, but here we will do it for about a minute or so. And as you repeat the mantra, become aware of the mind that is watching it. Each time you repeat the mantra, a triangle is formed. So sit quietly, breathing deeply with your nose and exhale with your mouth. Again, very deeply, breathe in with your nose. And exhale with your mouth. 
keep doing this. And as you inhale through your nose, see energy, chi, prana, feeling your body and awakening the mind. This energy is now building like you are charging the light of consciousness within. And in your third eye, you see that your conscious mind is expanding and awakening as you breathe. And the breath is going through every cell of your body, from your toes to your head, carrying the light and energy of the life force, prana, chi. Focus on this conscious breathing. And then as you exhale, relax and release into the breath of Mother Earth, all of your concerns and limitations. And with each inward breath, you are more awake and enlivened. And with each exhalation, you become relaxed and centered. Now let go of all limitations, all concerns, and feel peace within. Let us do this for a few moments. Now very gently begin to breathe normally, but continue to watch the breath. And with each inward breath and outward breath, you become awakened and relaxed, centered and calm. And now very gently become aware of the mind watching the breath. See that you are conscious and this consciousness is changeless. Watching the breath, hearing the sounds, seeing the self, seeing your individuality. Know that this field of consciousness doesn't change. It is a steady field of pure, unindifferentiated, awake mind. So the breath comes and goes, and sounds come and go. Thoughts arise, fall, and pass through you. Know that our true self is the quiet, pure mind, and that it is in fact changeless. The mind perceives all, and yet is bound by none. So all that we perceive, including our own individual selves, 
are permeated by this permanent light of consciousness. This consciousness is unbounded and unlimited in space and time and is always shining within each of us and in fact, within all things. So let us quietly go into this ocean of unbounded mind. Slowly dive into its quietness. We perceive our breath now as if from afar, and we are deep in this quiet and infinite space, watching the breath, perceiving our bodies, our thoughts. And now we sense that every person here is awake and the awakeness, the essence of the mind is in fact one. It is a singularity. Feel and sense the calmness of perceiving reality from this unitive state. Quiet within. We now realize the light of consciousness is infinite. Like the depths of an infinite ocean, silent, calm, and on the surface of this ocean are the many waves and ripples that emerge in relativity. But at the heart of this infinite ocean of consciousness, is the centered, quiet place, a pure, awake mind. Now, within this state, repeat the mantra, I'm Nama, quietly, in your head until all things vanish and the perception is only of consciousness itself. The mind watching the mind. Let's do this for a minute or so. I will start out loud and slowly go into silent mode. I'm
Namaste. As we hold the feeling of peace, serenity, the relaxed state, we take our perception into our heart as if we were looking and sensing from our heart space through our chest and into the world. Our consciousness existing within our heart, every cell of our body. Feel the heart as it beats. Take your perception now and place it about a thousand feet above you, moving your conscious awareness up into the sky. It may be light, it may be dark, wherever you are in the world. See the lights below you. See the cityscape, village, fields, if you're near the ocean, you can see the waves and the water. Turn your consciousness in 360 degrees. Observe everything around you. Feel the connection to the people, the animals, the insects. Breathe it in. We are all connected. Now, move your consciousness away from where you are, moving higher and higher, feeling the expanse of the land below you as it moves with you, but stays where it is, bringing the energy. We're moving out into the atmosphere now. Your location where you are is moving further and further away and you get to see more and more of the place where you live. continent, now you see the hemisphere of the earth beneath you, you feel the thrum of the planet, deep, deep sound, the power of Gaia, Earth Mother, And as we move further away now, our beautiful blue and green planet, we feel and sense the moon, but we're not going to pass it by. We're going to stay within its energy now, circling the moon feeling its presence, its observation of our planet. See the craters, as we now let that pass by us, as we move into our solar system, And we sense Mars now coming into our energetic field. 
a beautiful red planet. Feel it. Sense it. Dive down into its atmosphere, skin around its surface. Feel its power, feel its hum. Get to know it. Ancient, ancient planet. As we leave that behind us now, we'll feel Jupiter, huge, powerful, swirling surface, clouds, feel its presence, its energy. Hold that energy, dive into the clouds, dive into the surface of Jupiter. So majestic, so powerful. Feel its imprint on our solar system. And as we leave that behind, Saturn, see the rings come up. As you fly along the disk, all of the ice and rock spinning around the planet, feel the hum of Saturn, feel its energy, get to know it. Dive through the rings. Surf the rings. And as we pull back now, we see more and more of our solar system. Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, falling away from us. And now we sense the vast expanse of our solar system and its energy, its binding energy, consciousness across planets, civilizations, time and all dimensions. And as we feel and sense that energy, it moves away from us and we turn to the galactic center and we feel the sheer power of our galaxy, the creation, the transmission of consciousness into matter, memory, you may now feel a presence around you. Being, beings, joining you, becoming a part of your journey. Acknowledge them, greet them, feel their presence, their curiosity. Why are you here? Come out further now, bringing them with you. Seeing our galaxy as it starts to disappear and other galaxies become visible. More and more billions of galaxies in the universe, boundless. None of this 
has dimension. None of this has distance. It is all here now. In your consciousness, in your perception. And start to bring it back with you now. You see our galaxy becoming larger and larger. As you swing around to the outer arm, you sense and feel the presence of our solar system, our planets. As you rush through the outer planets, acknowledging their energy, their power, their awareness. Past Saturn, past Jupiter, Mars. You see the blue planet approaching, go past the moon. And you're bringing all of that knowledge, all of that vastness into one small place as you become closer and closer to Earth now, diving through the atmosphere. You see where it is that you are right now. And you bring all of that back into your heart. The vastness of all that is, is within you and will always be within you. The expanse of our multiverse. Breathe that power, breathe that energy. There's you and you are it. Namaste. Hey.
It is a deep joy to me and a great honor to be in the presence and consciousness of so many beautiful people around the world. Beautiful human beings, beautiful souls and beautiful star souls. I needed that. Thank you to everyone who is here in all the different ways. Thank you, namaste.